So when I became a mother in 2014 is when I realized that the day a child is born, a mother is born and your learning curve starts from zero. The other realization was that the best parenting experts are parents. So when I started facing some of those early issues, despite reading the books and reading content online, uh, the most support and answers often came from other moms who had gone through the same pain point. And that's what really started uh, sparking those thoughts in my mind that in this time and age where we are so tech enabled and information access is literally on our fingertips for everything, uh, why is it so hard for a mom to go out and fetch information? So that was one realization, just that the information need gap is much higher. Second, access to experts is uh, way lesser in India. There's no protocols around anything. Um, and it becomes a wider and wider gap in tier two and tier three cities. And uh, third was the tailwinds of you know more and more people coming online and using online as a medium to get access to the right information. We've actually taken a lot of initiatives to ensure that moms feel confident about themselves, about their actions as a mother, and we've seen great results. Just imagine one day you get like a 20 inch old <laughs> baby in your hands and you're like okay now you can go home <laughs> and that's it figure it out <laughs> so uh, a lot of it is internal too right so they they are judging themselves all the time and that we have found is a much bigger problem than external judging we sometimes tend to judge a mom who's asking a very simple question and uh, English speaking versus non-English speaking population is always the English speaking is always judging the non-English speaking in India so very early on, we started building different communities for Hindi and Bengali. So that's their space, right? So that's that's their tribe. So we started uh, segregating. Um, what we have built is a network of micro communities.